Hi, welcome to another Ashley House video. This is the second part covering the restoration process of a cow's 90ME lathe that I bought recently. This is the condition of the lathe when I brought it home. There are no drive belts and I wanted to change the motor to see it running before starting the restoration process proper. The new 150 watt DC motor I ordered had a smaller 10mm shaft so I needed to source a new pulley as the old one was too big. As there's not much information around about the cow's lathe, I bought the only book available which is the Cow's 90 Lathe Handbook by A. Smith. This is full of great information and as luck would have it, it also had a detailed drawing of the motor drive pulley. So I decided to make one for myself. This is the result. Here's a picture of the 150 watt DC motor and speed controller I bought off eBay. I pulled the tooth pulley off and the new pulley went straight on. I swapped out the forward reverse switch on the controller as well for a new toggle switch which fitted better in the existing round hole in the base. Here's the new motor fitted to the lathe with a custom mounting plate I fabricated. I took the controller out of its metal case as well because that didn't fit too well in the space available. Here's the lathe running for the first time. And here it is running in reverse. 
This is a demonstration of the longitudinal drive and the automatic drive disengage system as well. Here's the same operation in close up where you can see the adjustable trip slide bar attached to the carriage which disengages the clutch. That's about it for now. If you have any questions about the cow's lathe, then please post in the comments and I will try and answer. The next stage is to start the restoration process. If you're interested in seeing this, then please follow this channel. Thanks for watching.